Hi, my name is Trolls, and in this video, we're gonna take a deep, comprehensive look at one of the official demos for our Aura Studio Percussion. Aura Studio Percussion contains over 50 gigabytes, and that's compressed material of auxiliary percussion and drum kits. And it was actually, I think it was about 152 gigs when it was uncompressed, so it's an insane size. And you might ask yourself, like, how is it even possible to do a library that big with just because of sounds? For example, a snare can only last so long. And even though we, for example, here you can see we have a variety of different snares and we've got three microphones, it does not add up to 50 gigabytes. So what's going on, ADO? And what happens is that we discovered an entirely new technique of sampling. We actually have a patent pending application on it because it really, really takes sampling to a whole new level. And we've actually made a couple of libraries already that are coming out that are using similar techniques. And I think for everything moving forward, we're going to switch to this technique. It's a hell of a lot more difficult to sample but the end result is a library that is so much more flexible so much more alive and life sounding as you can hear in the demos they sound completely realistic and the reason is that we got traditional multi samples down here and i would say that's sort of where we are with current generation of percussive technologies you have your fancy velocity layers and you got multiple round robins or repetition notes for each of the individual articulations but what really makes our studio percussion take the next leap into sampling is the use of our R techniques down here so if you can imagine you have your normal multi samples right here then you have another stack of multi samples up here but they're using a completely different technique and the best way to describe it is velocity based sliced loops and essentially you can crossfade between the different loops here and you can also use a mod sequencer to do that and we also recorded everything in four different tempos that all adjust to a daw so let's say you want something insanely fast you scroll up here and you go in 32 notes or let's say that you want to go down here and you want to have really slow notes these are separate recordings and they're all velocity based so let's say you want to have a rhythm that goes like digga 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 you can do that essentially by sculpting here or just using your mod wheel as well all right so that was an awful lot of talking uh why don't i just play the demo up here and then i'll show you the different layers here and show you what's using our techniques and what's using multi samples and what's mixing both of them all that stuff This demo is actually a great example of traditional multi samples and R techniques combined. You can almost see up here what's R based and what is multi samples as well. Let me try to um, isolate each layer here. Let's start with that deep cinematic ensemble kit made from some of the deeper things we have. We have toms, we got concert basses, we got timpanis and all that stuff. And one of the cool aspects about this library is that we also record all articulations with different mallets. So for example, you can play the timpani with brushes or you can play the concert bass drum with brushes as well, which is super, super cool sound. Let me try. So I actually prefer the brush. I think it has a more like piercing, cinematic, like clear attack kind of sound to it. And you still get a little of the body that, mm, but it's so unconventional. Normally you play with a very, very soft mallet and it was like, hmm, let's just try it out. But anyway, let's go up here and isolate the first deep kit here. So you can hear a little more in isolation. So obviously in this case, I'm just playing different multi samples and using them to sort of articulate certain parts of the bass rhythm. And you also have R samples for all the individuals up here. So for example, you have a very deep tom here, and that's the multi sample version. And down here is the R version. So that's 16 notes in 90 BPM. Let me try to go up to 32 here. And that's just me holding down one key and using my mod wheel. You can see that being changed over here when I touch the mod wheel. But let's go a little deeper into the aura stuff here. Here is another example of a bonus patch called the simple menu. And we have tons of symbols in the library. You can see there's a massive collection here. And again, they're also played with different mallets. You got both brushed and traditional versions here. But in the simple menu here, we have some of the best sounding symbols in a large collection here. And then you also have them aura fashion. And for this particular uh, part of the sequence here, I actually use both the multi symbols and the aura techniques combined. So let's go in and look at that sequence here. So you can see down here, you got the multi samples down here, and then you have the R's up here that corresponds with the pieces down here. Uh, let me just try to play it here. You're gonna hear a couple of multi samples um, here, and then you're gonna see the R's up here, and these are simples, so they're played in sort of consecutive ways, and just very, very fluent sound.
So look at how elegant and simple this sequence is. You got your multi samples down here, and then you have the symbols up here playing in consecutive fashion. Let me just try to um, delete these uh, so you can hear the standalone. So this is only the auras playing. And imagine you had to play this with multi samples, how unconnected it would sound. You'd never get the same connectivity when you use the multi samples. Just check it out. And then we just in real time try to um, play with the mod wheel here. You can see down here, uh, so you can hear me sort of transition through the individual sliced layers of the symbols. The amount of sampling going into this, it's not only that we have slice samples and they're velocity based, but it's also we have four different tempos and a whole set of tools that allows you to crossfade that fluently between them. So essentially you can totally sculpt the dynamics of what you want. And we also have triplets. So if you want to play anything in triplets, if you want that more of that triplet feel to the symbols, for example, just click down here and you are in triplet. So it's fascinating and it's something that for me, I'm so excited to share with you. It's been taking me years to really figure this out. You can see here how easy the sequence looks. Uh, let me just add the multi samples back here, whoops. Um, let's move on here to the timbales. And with the timbales, you have two different kinds here. And I should also mention for all the articulations, as it wasn't enough, we actually done rolling sticks as well. So you can hear the timbales here, and these are pure multi samples played right here, even though they do have aura versions as well. But um, I'll play the timbales right now, and then you're gonna hear sort of some, some rolls going into the normal hits. That's all multi samples, but it gives sort of more lively atmosphere. So it's a really nice technique for that more sloppy kind of playing, even with multi samples. And these are actually sequence hard to the grid. There's no loose playing on it. And if you notice down here, we got the delay up here. These are our new front faced effects, meaning that you actually can control a variety of unique effects from the front page. And of course, you can also go deeper into our chaos effects if you want to do further manipulation. But I really love these front end controls. For example, here you can control the main pitch and micro pitch of the instrument. You can control filters up here. And one of the cool additions to the library is that we got our transform down here. These are textual delays. If you actually listen to the last part, let me just play it here so you can hear. You can sort of hear there are more things than just the delay. You had textures inside of the delay, and that's transformed down here. So these are essentially textural convolution delays that you can add on top of your normal delay, and it just gives more of a texture or coolness to the sound. Let's move on here to one of my other favorite categories, our shakers, and we went pretty nuts on the shakers. As you can see here, you have 14 different shakers that were all multi-sampled and they're also an aura configuration. Let me just play um, an aura shaker right here and I'll try to use the mod wheel so you can hear what it sounds like when you cross through the slice velocity layers. Isn't it neat? And again, that's just me playing with the mod wheel right here. So you can sit and sculpt rhythms. So if you want to go like, -ka -ta -ka -ta -ka -ta -ka -ta -ka -ta, you essentially just move the mod wheel up in those motions. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let me also um, last here play you the doombag. So in the case of the solo in this piece, we have a beautifully deep sample doombag here. And again, it comes with multi samples and R techniques as well. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm playing the whole solo with, with normal multi samples. And uh, let me just load the sequence here so you can see what's going on in terms of madness. And I should also um, emphasize that this is actually hand played. So I don't like to quantize things like this. Um, the aura stuff is great because it's always going to be a little more alive than normal multi samples, but my bass drums, all the sort of deep percussions, totally on the grid. And this is a good example of combining the two. So this demo sounds kind of alive because you got your aura stuff, you have your normal quantized multi samples, and then you have unquantized multi samples here. So yeah, let me just play the whole thing in its entirety here so you can see the demo in real time. So in the case of the Dumbek here, uh, let me just show the articulations. So you have your normal sort of fat bass. Let me just kill the reverb here actually on it so it sounds a little more dry. And then you have more sort of a finger snapping articulations, more like the snare. And then you got a brushed articulation. And then you have a muted articulation. And combined that gives you a multi sample Dumbek and you can see also you've got your aura equivalent up here. Let me just show you as well.
And that, my friend, is the conclusion to the journey into our official demo. We actually have three other videos where I'm demonstrating other demos from the library as well. And again, all these demos come as MIDI files with the library, including with the multis here, so you can rebuild everything from scratch. So I hope this has given you a little introduction into the beautiful world of our studio percussion, which in my opinion is the first true next generation percussion library because it sounds so damn real. And the only way you can do that is by doing it real. So deep sample multi samples with velocity layers on Ron Robin, and then combine it with our highly unique R techniques here, which you're gonna see a lot more of in our future libraries coming. This is really the way to do it in my opinion. So yeah, man, that's our R studio percussion in a nutshell. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.